Watching high events, and tonight we're here at the Hilton Colombo as Singapore's most hilarious stand up comedian is just about to take up the stage. It's Kumar Sutra right here in Sri Lanka, where the most iconic performer from Singapore is right here to tickle your laughing butt. So let's go on a journey right here on high TV. Stay tuned. Thank you so very much for being here at the Hilton Colombo as we get ready to literally laugh our minds off and bring on some sass that's going to be amazing. Well, we would like to say a big thank you to you for buying the tickets, for being here, for supporting this cause. And that's the main thing. The humor comes with a great price. And the price that you're giving to those who need it the most. Wheels for wheels. And if you want more details on it, it's available on your table. If not, it's available right across where you took those brilliant photographs. So make sure that you go. And while you take that next photograph, take a good look at the cause. Because it makes a lot of sense as to why you're here. Anyway, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. How is everybody good? I love your response. You, you sounded exactly like the press conference. <laughs> I had it in January. They all look like total millennials, you know, no response. They just get to do their work. They don't know what they're doing. They just write, 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 write the same thing what Anita gave to everybody. No creativeness. Repeat, 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 repeat. Easy life, right? Easy life. Speaking to the event organizer, Anita, we have her with us right now. Tell me, how does it feel to be here tonight, to see that this is coming alive tonight? Oh, it's a really an amazing experience and you know, uh, I, I was putting this together for so long and finally it materialized. So it's like, a, it's like a big relief for me in a way, but I was so happy with the response that uh, we got for the show, as well as the donations. A lot of people came forward to donate uh, for the worthy cause, the appointed charity. So I'm really glad. So tell me how you came about this idea of bringing uh, Kuma down and then also making the proceedings go into something that is worthwhile, uh, something of charity. How did you put all of this together? Uh, well, basically, I'm a Singaporean and I've been in Sri Lanka for five years. Uh, so, I try to bring in Singapore artists or Singapore talent to basically promote Singapore as a destination. And uh, I've been wanting to do a stand-up comedy for quite some time because I felt that's something that we lack in Sri Lanka. Uh, so, I thought for a change, it'll be good to do this uh, stand-up comedy. I, the last one I did was a fashion show, but you know fashion shows we get a lot in Colombo City. So I thought stand-up comedy is something a bit different and it's very entertaining. And I know Kuma does a, an amazing job. And um, so I, that's how I decided to bring him down really to, to do a stand-up comedy. I thought it would be something different. And also when selecting your partner, why classic fun time? Oh, I well, I feel that Imran is really, I would have to say without being biased that he's the best. Uh, he's so easy to work with and I'm so comfortable with the way he puts things together. Yeah. So in terms of future, what are we to expect from Anita Dore? Uh, well, basically, um, my next project will be towards the end of this year. It's, it's still in the pipeline, but it's still too early for me to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> so we have to expect a surprise. That's right. All right, thank you so much for talking to us and best of luck with everything in future. Thank you. My dogs are my life. Right? Their dogs are better than wives. Or even children. Children are so good nowadays, you know. Nowadays, you, you tell your child, huh? let's cross the road. Why? For what? Why must I cross the road? But for what? My time, we got to tell that to our mother. Mother said, cross the road. Cross the road, cross the road. <laughs> because we remember the knock on the head, no? You follow stupid. Okay, no, man, just go, do, 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 do. Nowadays, kids, stupid children like that. You don't have kids, have dog. But my dog got a problem. You know why? Because every time you go home, before you open your door, the dogs are already there. Right? <laughs> Mine no, because they don't recognize me with makeup. <laughs> so I open my door, my two dogs will come at the corner, they look at me, and they have a discussion. <laughs> then I call the name, Oreo and Cookie. Then they... <laughs> my dogs as confused as I am. But dogs are better than a companion. Better than anything. You leave your dogs two hours, you go out, you go home. 
Your dog still happy to see you. You can feed them anything they're not fussy. And then you're watching TV, they just lie next to you. Quiet, never say anything. The only downfall with dogs, they can smell if you've been with other dogs. <laughs> you try to go to your friend's house, play with your dog, you come home, your dog will sleep. <laughs> Imagine human can smell another human if you've been with other human. <laughs> Speaking to Kumar, the iconic performer, the star of the night. Tell me, how does it feel to be here in Sri Lanka and to perform tonight? Really nice. Um, I'm very happy with the crowd. Also liked it. So I was very skeptical whether they will they will like it or not. Because, but Anita told me they will they will like it because she knows what 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 the, her audience like. She's very good. You didn't know what your audience will come for. Yeah. Tell me, how was your stay in Sri Lanka? I just came today and I'm leaving tomorrow. So so far it's been really good. I had a I had a most wonderful burger today, Sri Lankan inspired chicken burger, very nice, at the Hilton. Please come and try. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about how you got into stand-up comedy and um, what inspired you. Uh, in, in, when I when I started stand-up comedy, we didn't have anybody to follow. So there was a lot of problem in Singapore because the police was on my back and. It's very hard to follow, so it was very hard at the beginning. But then eventually I found a hang of it, you know. Walking on a fence is very hard in Singapore. I mean, that time. So just as family didn't support, uh, but I wanted to swim, I didn't want to drown. So it was very hard initially, but then somehow it worked. La. Somebody's got a plan for you in the fu your future. Also tell me, uh, how was the response from the performance tonight? Brilliant, it was excellent. The, the, the really, really didn't expect. I was very worried. So because for stand-up comedian, it's like by the second joke or third joke you must already got your audience if not then it's very hard because once they lose interest they switch off <laughs> thank you so much for talking to us and i hope you have the best time ever and thank best of so luck with everything thank you so much go for holidays you that's the time you relax don't bring family or go for holiday because when you bring your family go for holiday when you come back you need another holiday to get over that holiday <laughs> think about it Really think about it. It's the, that's what it is. You know, go out and talk to people, meet people, relax, re release your stress. Another way to release your stress is petting your dog. And we have Imran with us right now, someone who worked so hard to bring this night together, to bring it alive. Tell me, how does it feel now that it's almost over? Feels good. Feels good. Tell me how the story behind bringing Kumar down and this whole production. Well, Kumar actually was brought down by Anita Dore. Uh, she's Singaporean, living here in Sri Lanka, married to a Sri Lankan. So uh, she's been bringing down acts from Singapore and we've been producing it for her. So this is one of them. All right, so tell me in ter terms of future, what plans are there for Classic Fun Time? Classic Fun Time itself is, um, we, we're, doing our, we're doing our shows and we're producing shows. Uh, this kind of shows, they come, they go, but uh, our corporate uh, shows just keep going on and on. And one last question, how has the response been from the people tonight? Well, it's been very good. They seem to have enjoyed themselves. So, let's see what comes next. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to us and best of luck with everything. Thanks. Catching up with another beautiful lady. Hi, tell me how does it feel to be here and what do you think of the show? It was organized very nicely. Though it was a comedian show, we started with a song which was lovely and we were hoping that we could see her more even after the show but disappointed but the show was brilliant laughed the guts out actually my stomach is paining i have a flight to catch but still i had uh, seen his show a couple of years back i think that time he was actually a guy <laughs> so it was more interesting to see him like this and i think even his uh, humorous side as developed to another level, so enjoyed the show thoroughly. And uh, not only the comedian show, but the entire setup of everything was super, lovely. So will you be coming for more? What are you hoping from to see from Anita or even Classic Fun Time in the future? Uh, came for her uh, fashion show also last time, which I liked it. and. Uh, and what she was uh, doing with the wheelchair, that is the uh, most interesting thing behind whatever she is doing. So we'll be always supporting her. Thank you so much for talking to us and enjoy the rest of your evening. Once again, two beautiful ladies all the way from India. Hi girls, tell me what do you think of the show tonight? 
it was super amazing and i think throughout the show we were just holding on to our stomachs trying to keep it calm and control but we couldn't it was so hilarious really superb what do you think yes superb superb fun everything so out of all of this uh, what was your favorite thing was it kuma or umara or the food or just the ambiance or even black i would say everything the most uh, important thing for me was the cause for which it was held for that is wheels on wheels and uh, i think anything related to charity is uh, really really nice anita. yeah anita because of her we are here <laughs> tell me uh, what food you like to see from anita in future uh, i have attended all her events what she has organized uh, right from the fashion show to this charity event and both the events were towards the charity i would say whatever she has done uh, she has done to the perfection and uh, i wish her all the best for the coming uh, end of years as well right what do you have to say yeah for sure all the best to her it's really good show all right thank you so much for talking to us enjoy the rest of your evening you. and we have indira and lalit with us right now tell me how did you all enjoy the show well we really really enjoyed it and it was so hilarious and it was not uh, it's short and sweet that's what i like the most and um, uh, and we really had a nice time definitely yes because kumar was a nice uh, entertainer he spoke his heart out and it was really good because it it kept the entire enti- he kept the entire audience um, sort of laughing and then really a good time all of us had i believe is this your first time being to a stand up comedy in sri lanka uh to be frank um, in sri lanka is yes. yes yes that's uh this is the first time and will you be coming next time as well of course certainly yes 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 of course yes right. thank you so much to talk to us and enjoy the rest of your evening tell me about your involvement in this production um imran saibo was actually doing is doing the event and um he gave me a call and said you know are you in town on this particular day and are you available to do a curtain raiser um which is actually with whitney houston and that's one of the most favorite acts that i've done in my life i would say in my career um so it was a definite yes yeah also tell me what do you think of productions like this coming to sri lanka and the exposure that you get I think it's high time that we did more and more productions as such because um, I think we don't need to be stale and you know stay in one place I think we need to go um somewhere else and we have the potential to do that and you know events like this actually um gives you know the international platform as well an opportunity for them to see what Sri Lanka is all about which actually helps boost tourism and so many other things so um yeah I think we should do many more events like this Now you've been working in classic fun time productions for quite some time now. Um how has the journey been? Journey has been very interesting. I've been working for a long time as always. It's very fun, less complicated. Imran knows exactly what he wants and his messages are so clear and it was yeah and there goes Imran and I have to say something nice. I love Imran and the entire team. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for talking to us and best of luck with everything. Thank you so much.
call it a night. That's a wrap from Kuma Sutra right here in Sri Lanka for the very first time. Sri La Singapore's most hilarious stand-up comedian right here in Sri Lanka. And of course, we had Black and even Umara performing tonight and it was absolutely amazing. Everyone had a great time. So catch me again on another exciting episode of High Events. Till then, this is Naveksha signing out for High TV. <laughs>